Hello, everybody, and welcome to Miss Click's D&D Pirate Edition, where Hi. the party is on land and nowhere near the sea. What will we do? <laughs> oh, God, no. Without your ship, what do you do indeed? So last we left, the party had crawled, not crawled, walked into a cave after destroying the boards that had blocked it off. It was way far away from everything else, kind of out in the, on the boonies. Um, actually, not a cave. It was more of a mining shaft, mining tunnel. They went down, kind of explored the area for a while. You guys fought a gelatinous cube, uh, slew it, and you like, yeah, we did. encountered yeah. this uh, this brown, rust-colored, maybe brownish-reddish mold that seemed to be leaching the life out of you, uh, leaching the heat and the life out of you and growing as it did so. So you guys said, peace out. We're leaving you no, alone. Um, and continuing to explore the mines until you came across a... 15 foot long snake like creature with black and red bands wrapped around its body and a human head like literally like a human head at the end of it with like wispy hair and, well, and yeah. it wasn't attractive it was not attractive no nope. you wouldn't even let us roll for hotness yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we slew it with the ballista right because we carried it in the mine um, actually, we're rolling for initiative right now, unless you guys have some pre-show chatter you'd like to do, which of course... Uh, we can introduce our guest. Oh, yeah. Do we, yeah. Nice. Who is he? He's this really hot, uh, you know, pro gamer and esports me. media personality. Do not objectify me. I'm sorry, you're I so right. I am more than just my body, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sorry, you're so right. This is, this is why I married you. You keep me in line. Because I'm smart. Yeah. And, like, I represent men's rights. That's good. We need that on our show. We're diversifying, you know? Diversity. Yeah. We've yeah. been mistreating the men of our show. <laughs> mistreating the men of our show. <laughs> That's men actually are. fairly true. <laughs> we need a bit. <laughs> At some point, we're going to have a male activist come on yeah. our show and be like, you know what, girls? I'm really offended. He's going to write a blog. Yeah, about how far can you push it when you are Those the Those things right happen, but then they don't go anywhere because there's not enough other male activists. Like, nobody gives a shit, you know? Like, well, I mean, like, when you are the minority, how far really can you push it? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <the> <laughs> all right, let's get down to this because I'm, I'm worried we're all going to die. Yeah. It has been an interesting... <laughs> also, can I just put out there that all of us are really dumb for not having worn the plate mail armor that we have on our ship? Yeah, We just true. totally uh, forgot about it. That's really, really <sighs> good. Yes, well, we can so all share in our, in our shame. So we're just going to run away right now, go get the plate mail, be right back. <laughs> uh, what we're doing right now is actually rolling for initiative. So... Um, Give me a d10 plus whatever action you're taking. Uh, be it, if it's a weapon, add your weapon speed. If it's a spell, ca add the casting time. If Mine's it's six, right, for a weapon? Or nine for two-handed axe? Nine for two-handed axe. But speaking six. of that, I, I should grab that. I critted oh. the crap out of that, then. Yeah, you did. Oh, holy cow. I only yes. have one more dagger. I'm going to crossbow it. I have a club. Neil? Yes? I have a club. All of a sudden there's a club on my uh, sheet. Do I have that? Is that under weapon proficiency or equipment? Proficiency. You're ah. right. I was looking in the wrong place. You're right, Neil. Of course you are. Hmm. <sighs> uh, Two-handed axe. Yeah, nine. Good. I'm not crazy. All right. There we go. Stand up, books. Stand up. Stand. Stand. There we go. Lost my dice, though. There we go. Okay, so uh, what do we have? We have 18, 10, 10, 14. None of which are good. Um, no. No. <laughs> All of which are bad. Uh, and so, unsurprisingly, the beast in front of you goes first. Um, the human face kind of... shot me. 
The Don't human face gets a, a grin across it, cocks its head to one side, and looks at you guys. Um, what oh, are you? We're all floundering with our weapons. Yes. Uh, actually, at this point, it's action looking at us. It winks. <laughs> at this point, I need you guys to give me a save versus paralyzation. <gasps> um, and if any of you guys have extraordinary uh, extra high wisdom. Get a bonus oh, to your do. save. You sadly that... do not. Uh, if anyone has 15 or higher wisdom or willpower, Where... first page of your oh. character sheet. If you have willpower, willpower is my lowest stat. I'm guessing a five is not a save for me, Neil. Five <laughs> is not a save for you. No. You have five willpower, and yet when I ordered you to carry that axe into the cave, no, you didn't and carry I rolled... it. Yay! You rolled I'm a five. Not it's not a question of willpower. Good. <laughs> Take that, Neil. <laughs> Okay. Uh, anyone else? I have a six willpower. Uh, okay. Don't. Oh, that actually gives you a penalty of one. So give me a d twenty minus one for you. How high do you need? You need whatever uh, on your character sheet. It should say paralyzation, poison, and death. You want to roll that or higher? Oh. December God. rolls a zero. Uh, minus yeah. Zero. Wow. Zero. Okay. Um, tyrant, Fay, and December, you are all charmed. Oh, that seems I, nice. I told everyone they should watch at the beginning of the show because the show might not be very long. Yeah, you guys are now all charmed by the creature. Um, as for what exactly it does, the the recipient regards the caster, in this case the, the monster, the beast, as a trusted friend and ally to be heeded and protected. The spell does not enable the caster to control the charmed person as if it were an ottoman, but any word or, caster, word or action from the caster is viewed in the most favorable way. Thus, a charmed creature would not obey a suicide command, but he might believe the caster if it assured that the only chance to save, if it assured the, the victim that the only chance to save the caster's life is for the person to hold back an onrushing red dragon for just a minute or two. Note also that the spell does not endow the caster with linguistic capability beyond that he normally possesses. Um... And do they speak common? I uh, can normally speak four or more languages. Okay, you guys do not know if it speaks common, but the three of you now regard the beast in front of you as a trusted friend and ally to be protected and <laughs> whatever. Um, and then who goes next? Me. That's your turn, Lily. You are not charmed, though, and you are unaware of the charm effect. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> what do you do, Lily? I cast Fog Cloud. Okay. Is that what you were doing the whole time? The yellow one that yeah. looks scary. The yellow one that looks scary. But that doesn't do shit. <laughs> okay, you cast Fog Cloud. And now it's totally scared, right? <laughs> um... This is like a wall of fog, but... Everyone's going to start going in and being like, Stop attacking my friend! The spell creates a fog of any size and shape up to a maximum of 20 foot cube per caster well, level. I'm doing the yellow one. It's not this one. That's not fog cloud, then. What's it called? Yeah, it's fog cloud. It's... <laughs> as a cloud... Fog cloud. No, it's not this one. It's the, the next one. As a fog kill like fog, this is a billowing mass of ghastly yellowish green vapors measuring 40 feet by 20 feet by 20 feet. This moves away from the caster as 10 feet, feet per round. It's heavier than hair and sinks to the lowest level, even pouring down. Blah, blah, blah. That's. It's not called fog cloud. What's it called? Yeah, it's in fog cloud. What? Third paragraph. Dudley Dudley, current spells. What level spell is that? Two. Yeah, it's not yellow, it's blue. It says yellowish green. Oh, oh, I was talking about the color of the card that you're looking at. Oh, I was talking okay. about the cloud. Uh, as a fog cloud, da, da, da. As a cloud kill like fog, this is a bellowing mass of ghastly yellow greenish vapors measuring 40 feet by 20 feet by 20 feet. That moves, this moves away from the caster at 10 feet per round. The vapors are heavier than the air and sink to the lowest level. Um, the only effect of either version is to obscure vision. A strong breeze will dissipate either one in one round while moderate breeze. Okay. Uh, 
obscures all sight beyond normal, uh, normal and infrusion beyond two feet. So no one can see anything. You guys are completely blanketed in this perfect fog cloud. I can't see anything. Uh, who goes next? Um, Faye and December. No, Faye. Faye goes next. Okay, so that's the point where I'm supposed to be like... Hello, nice person who's really ugly. Can I pet your face? You can be nice hey! and ugly. What the hell? Hey, where's our friend? <laughs> it's gone. I can't see him anymore. <laughs> and then I cancel my attack. Okay. Um, December? I guess I just kind of am looking around confused because I want to see what my friends are doing, but the Naga is also my friend, so I'm just like kind of frantically looking to take in information. You can't see shit. Then I just don't do anything. Okay. I just uh, keep looking around. Tyrant? We should be moving on, guys. Now that we've found everyone, we should just continue. I'm like, all right, let's just leave. We should go this way. I start pulling people. <laughs> You're unaware oh. that they're charmed, oh, that's Lily. that's true. Shit. You have no idea about any charm effect or any possible oh, gaze yeah. attack. Oh, okay, never mind. Then I say, yeah, but she might find right, something then... weird that everyone's just, like, not saying or doing anything. Yeah, that's true. Okay, then I'll turn around and I'll say, guys, what are you doing? Take position. <laughs> right, there's a lot of fog here. This room seems to be empty. We should just move it along. Position to do what, Lily? Yeah, what? I don't understand what the hell is going on with you guys be careful disperse he's gonna attack us who the mean guy with the ugly face all right listen <laughs> i've taken enough crap for now all right i'm quite handsome for a minotaur I was talking <laughs> about you. yeah don't be mean to tyrant i was talking about the guy with the weird hair over there he he doesn't seem that, have that mean much hair. to me why are you Not dissing our friend the, the, the giant who are snake you even man talking about <laughs> snake man has done nothing wrong i i guess not i mean he didn't attack us yet but we should i mean we should either attack him or get out right now i know face hurt <laughs> well we're certainly not going to attack him i don't know why all of a sudden that you friendship is not important to you lily let's attack people okay. we don't know <laughs> Um, at this point, he casts a spell. I'm just looking for the exact description of the spell. Oh god, what have I done? I moved away from the thing. Um, he is casting... Where the hell did it go? There's a crap ton of fog here, guys. Can't see much. Yeah, I just remembered I'm still like 20 HP down as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I want to sleep. <laughs> did I like... Can, nobody oh, can see each other, right? Never mind. Um, he can't do his spell because he can't see you guys. <laughs> they just hear us okay. bickering. Um, you hear some weird chanting coming from his direction. Oh, what a beautiful no, song! We're not gonna no, fight this fucker. We better. I'm get. I'm getting out of here. You guys are really weird right now. I'm not gonna fight him alone. That's for sure. Then I start walking off. Well, no one's fighting anyone. Why would we you? We can't see you, so... Nope. Well, we we just met this great friend, but I mean, I'm, I'm not going to leave you there? alone. He's got an old soul. You guys are crazy. He's really nice once you get to know him. I don't know if it's... Like... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, like, starting to move out of the fog. I'm like... Uh, you you hear a... A strange voice hiss out at you guys. Why are you in my house? Oh, he speaks. Um, <laughs> we, I don't know. Uh, I don't, why were we here? I don't even remember, Lily. Look, we're looking for treasure or something. But they would remember what they were here. Of course, for. they remember oh, we were, what they're here we for. We were looking. We were looking for um, a, a stone, a, a gem, maybe. Have you seen it? Uh, what gemstone do you seek? A large one. Hmm. Well, I would very much like to see this. Once you find it, would you bring it to me? Oh, well, yeah, of course. I would love to examine it before you take it away. Okay. 
Do you know where it might be? Have you seen any kind of treasure down here? It's certainly not in my house. Is perhaps, this your house? Perhaps one of the other mines contains it. What led you to believe it was down here? Did someone tell you it was here? Mostly a wild guess. Mm. <laughs> someone said it was under the mountain, so we, it led us here from using always the right pad, <laughs> the left pad. <laughs> mm. Interesting. Well, why don't you go out and get this gem and bring it back to me? And we can yeah. have a hey! nice, lovely chat about it. Also, you should be careful. Some people can be sneaky. If anyone tries to get in your way, do not hesitate to use lethal force. Okay. Sounds reasonable. I mean, I trust you, so... Would I suspect anything by now, Neil? Or would I, I don't know. What do you suspect? I mean, you you don't know that there's they are charmed, and you cannot see anyone. So you make your own. You decide what how your character reacts to this. I'm just waiting and listening to people, thinking right, everyone's well, surprisingly nice. <laughs> well, uh, I guess if we're gonna find this gem and then bring it back to you, we should leave. So we'll we'll take we'll see you later. Goodbye. Hope to see you soon. Does he hiss on the S's? Yes. See you soon. But he, don't call our friend creepy, Tyrant. I didn't. I said out a game to Neil. I said Neil's a creepy Naga. Well, that's true. Goodbye. Come <laughs> back soon. Well, I think Nagas are supposed to be creepy. He's like the pervy old man from Family Guy. I just have a popsicle in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, you guys still can't see anything. You're complete. Well, like you can't see more than two feet in front of your face. Well, well December turns around, but where she thinks is behind her, and starts walking, and says, "Come on, everybody." I try to follow her voice. Well, I guess let's just go all right. <laughs> Tyra just kind of walks forward. Like toward the Naga? He just walks forward. Alright. Uh, walking forward, eventually you come uh, up to the Naga. I mean, you were looking at him when the fog went off. And you kind of look about, but you start walking forward and you come to it and its head is kind of moving back and forth in front of you. Do you, uh, do you know how to get out of here? There's a lot of fog. <laughs> you should ask our friend, the one who created the fog, to remove it. Little one, would you remove my the fog from my house? It's so hard to see. There's a lot of fog. <laughs> fog be gone. And then the fog be gone. Does it suck back up into her butt, Neil, or does it just kind of disappear? Gross, Jeff. Um, it just you you dispel it, and the fog kind of just disappears slowly. And then I like put my my hands on my ears, and I'm like la 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 la, la starting to walk off. Okay. Oh, at any point, are? do you and try not to metagame this? But at any point, do you actually look at the Naga? No. You sure? Like you, the spell goes off, and you instantly turn away from it and not look at it. Well, I was already leaving. Okay. I told you that already. Yeah. Okay. So you turned around, started fumbling in the fog, then dispelled it. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. You, you guys. I mean, walk out. Hey, uh, this has happened a few times before, but uh, what's your name by chance? I usually uh, get my friends' names at the start. Huh? He's asking the Naga for the Naga's name. Oh, I was sorry. I thought you were talking. He thought you were talking to Lily for some reason. <laughs> no, I'm still looking. I'm still at point okay. blank range looking up into the Naga and I asked that. My name is Salivar. Okay. Thank you, Salivar. I'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get that gem for you. I would just want Why to look at it. It is, of course, your gem if you find it. Yeah. Well, I imagine you could only look at it. I don't see any arms or anything, so it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. 
All right, uh, and you guys leave, I take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, you guys exit. <sighs> as soon well. as we exit, they're like, what's going on, guys? You guys are really weird. What do you mean we're weird? Oh, yeah, what do you mean? Snake guy! Yeah, did he attack us? No. That's a that's salad bar. That's He's really nice. Not hey, guy. <laughs> I heard saliva. Yeah, I heard saliva bar. No, it's right. salad bar. Right. <laughs> are you Spanish? You guys I was right in front them. of him. You I was the first them. one to hear him. <laughs> I'm all for not dying to a giant snake guy, but you guys do know that we're never coming back to this guy with the gem, right? Well, why? He's, oh. uh, he, he asked, asked for it. To. There's no yeah. reason to be mean. He's not our captain. He's on our ship. He won't fit on our ship. I mean, I don't understand, though. What's the issue, Lily? Please share with us, because I think we're... We're not understanding. Oh. Are you okay, Lily? Are you feeling all right? Like, oh my god, everybody's crazy. Just walking up, I'm like, they're so crazy. What's going on with this cave? It must be the, it must be the fungus. It must be the fungus. How are we even crazy? Neil, could I think it would be the fungus that drove them insane? You can think anything you want. You uh, are a wizard, though, so you would be familiar with charm spells in general. Faye does. Can we roll for me thinking it's charm healer. or fungus? You can just you can you just unilaterally decide whatever you want. You can roll if you want to make up your decision that way, or you can just declare you think it's a charm spell. Hmm. I start to pick up clumps of dirt, Neil, and I start packing it against Faye's burnt skin, frozen skin rather. Oh yeah. Oh hey, thank you. Yeah, you need healing. Yeah, I do actually. Yeah, I guess we can all go sleep. Maybe we'll feel better tomorrow. Where do you guys go? Um, I guess back to the inn that we stayed. Okay, yeah. you guys leave the mine and head back towards the inn. Um, you get back in the afternoon. Uh, probably like an hour afternoon or two hours afternoon. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go straight to bed, guys. Why are you going to bed? To rest? I don't know. Does that work? Does I, hurt? I mean, you have been in combat today, so you wouldn't gain any HP. Hmm. Okay, then let's go to the doctor, I guess. Can you do something? Is there a healer? A healer in town? What's... Yeah. Uh, you ask about, and you find that there is a local healer who tends to all of the wounded from the mine. You know, people, rocks fall on them, or they break a leg or something. You know, someone mm -hmm. accidentally hits them with a the pickaxe. There's a guy who tends to them. Okay, okay. <clears throat> let's go there, and I'll right. get healed up. Okay, um, it's pretty much the same thing as you experienced in the other town. It takes a little while to watch over you. He'll, you know, bandage your wounds with herbs. He'll give you like, you know, nice concoctions to drink and that sort of thing. But it does take time. You will basically regain HP at a rate of, under his care, like with pure bed rest, you get three HP per day. Um. But he offer has no magical healing to give you. What do we do, guys? How hurt do you feel? Aka, how much HP do you need? <laughs> I'm at fifty percent right now. I'm at. Uh, I, I'm lost <laughs> I lost twenty. I lost twenty. I mean, we do have those potions. Yeah, but I'm not dying. So. Yeah, we should save those for dire circumstances. Yeah, you're right. Um, how about we try to avoid getting into fights, but continue to investigate the gem? Okay. Mm. We can probably uh, sleep the night so I can change my spells. We're not very good at staying out of fights. So well, maybe give her... To... Maybe one day? Right. Yeah, give her a couple days. Yeah, okay. Okay. When we come back, Neil, I don't... I, like, unless they ask me to, I, I separate from the group, and I begin to use my axe unwieldy to whittle down a chunk of stick into a figurine of Salabar. <laughs> Salavar. Uh, All right, Salabar. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Neil, after a few hours, are they still doing crazy talk? <laughs> I haven't heard any crazy talk at all. Oh my god, right. it's charmed Neil! Let, let's go eat Yeah, they're still charmed. Guys and have 
coffee and stuff and talk about how you feel about the weird snake right now. <laughs> okay. So, do you guys remember why you like him? Yeah, because he didn't attack us. High five, snake. Well, I mean, he... I I trust him with my life. I don't know. He He's just always but been like, a good friend, hasn't he? Since? Since we have, like, the beginning of our friendship. Since we've, we've known him? Since we've known him? Which is since? <laughs> I mean, Neil, Neil, like, can we... <laughs> does logic can work on us? Uh, you will not get an extra saving throw. Like, you... She, it, you, you're, you're in char you're, you're magically charmed. She can talk to you all she wants, and you guys will find out. We don't have to role play it, but let you try and talk them out of their charm, and they're just like, "What are you talking about? He's, mm. he's a friend." Like you, you right, find so, it's impossible to talk them out. All right, so I'm gonna say you guys have a great idea. Let's all go together and chill for a little while. Maybe you'll feel better after fresh air. And then I'll remove the potions of them because I read the spell and it's going to dispel the potions <laughs> if I cast it on them. <laughs> then I'm going to isolate them in the middle of the forest and I'm going to call I'm going to cast dispel magic on them. Ooh. After I remove all magical items and whatsoever. <laughs> We're all like, "Lily, you're being so weird," but She's we like so put up with her. Guys. I'm still because just whittling the figurine. And if anyone tries to like not do what she says, I like force them to because I think that Lily's the coolest ever, and I want her to be happy. Damn it! I don't even know which ingredients it takes because I don't have the spell description. It should work. Uh, if the caster is higher level than the creator, or the effect to be dispelled, the difference is subtracted. Okay. So, what level are you, Lily? Mm, Super high. Q4. You can cast third level spells. You're at least level five, possibly level six. Uh, wait, I'm. Lower right hand character. Level six, level six. Okay. So you need to roll. Uh, roll a d one d twenty, and I'll let you know whether or not you dispel the magic on them. Do it one. You know, crap. Did you already roll it? Mm. Okay. Oh, Lily. Uh, it is not dispelled. I was. I was going to ask you if you wanted to do it one for each individual person or one as a whole, but now you've already rolled, so it colors your... But now, no, it colors your, your dialogue. All right, okay. we'll just do it one for the whole. That's the I default. I continue to whittle the figuring. Yeah. <laughs> but by oh, whittling, do you mean, like, chopping it in half a couple times, then giving up and starting no, over? No, I'm using, I'm like, pushing it against the blade of the axe. Oh. But I'm very... It's, it's very awkward, so I'm very focused on it.